Schultz here is the CEO of Mauna Loa. You're, you're one of the staples, you're one of the big businesses here on Maui. How, how were things in the last five months? Yeah, and I mean, of course, it's been a, it's been a tough, you know, um, sledding, and you feel, you know, for the people of Maui. Um, but we've tried to, you know, keep everybody employed. We've, we've been out there selling as much product as, as we can. We've been donating a ton of product. You know, I think the amount of stuff that we helped at the beginning with, you know, to the, the fire department, to the mayors and first officer, uh, first responders. Uh, you know, we try to donate, and then we try to figure out how we can help. Um, but overall, Maui's you know recovered, and I think you know we've seen visitors be respectful. We've seen uh, you know locals welcome a lot of visitors back, um, and, and we've. You know the business is not quite back yet, but it's it's been it's been better. Yeah. Now, Ed, with regard to the tournament, tournament, Mauna Loa has done some very specific things to help Maui, right? Yeah, um, a couple of things. So we, you know, first off, early on, you know, we we partnered uh, with Xander Shoffley to yeah. raise money. Um, so we raised about four hundred thousand dollars for uh, Maui Strong. Wow. Yeah, and you know, Xander's got um, some ties to the islands and loves the islands. And um, and then we, we also this week are uh, sponsoring the Kamaina ticket program, um, and so that is you know discounted tickets um, for adults, and then two uh, two keiki uh, in free for for every adult uh, ticket purchase. Oh, incredible! Yeah, yeah. you know one of the things we want to mention also the pl the players have, have done so much on their own. You're not going to hear about all of them because not everybody's really talked about it. Right. But but this tournament as a whole, Ed. Um, you know, it, we we talked to some of the people out there in the community, just spectators. They just want something that that reminds them of what life used to be like. You know, we're not never going to get all the way back to normal. But what what is your feel from from out there? Uh, whether how important this this is. You know, I think in general, uh, I mean, sports just heals. You know, sports brings communities together. Um, this is a premier professional sports event in Hawaii. Um, th this is actually one of the highest purses uh, in the PGA Tour season. It draws the best players in the world. And, uh, and I think everybody in Maui is excited to see the players back. And they've been so engaged with um, and sensitive to what the community has gone through. You saw Patrick Cantley yesterday had, had uh, firefighters, you know, walking with him through the pro-am. Um, and, and just, you know, everybody wants a sense of normal. And it's exciting and fun. And um, I think you're going to see a great tournament this weekend. Yeah. Who's winning? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I look, I, I love Xander. He's won out here before. Um, you know, I, I got to play with Tommy Fleetwood yesterday. He was hitting the ball great. But these guys are all so good, yeah. and they make us look so bad. Um, so <laughs> and, it reminds and, us, uh, it reminds us of good. our humility. <laughs> yeah, Ed, Ed's really good. Ed, Ed's really good. So you must be excited, though, that this has come back in such full force. But imagine, I, I mean, when you first heard about the tournament coming back, mm -hmm. I'm sure there was a little bit of a hesitation. Th there was. I mean, because nobody knew. I mean, you guys remember, like, the first days, um, even first month after the fires, nobody knew what resources were going to be available. Nobody knew what everybody's emotions were going to be going through this. Mm -hmm. And I think early on you saw, like, you know, the Maui Invitational had to, had to move right. because nobody knew in November. And then January had a little bit more runway. And, um, you know, I feel like we're, we're up here a little bit uh, more out of town and... Um, and overall, I, I think, you know, talking to the community and engaging with people, it became clear that, like, th this was an event that's been here so long, and it would bring that sense of, of normalcy back um, that, that people engaged and said, you know, let, let's, let's do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And, and yeah. the key was that it was done respectfully yeah. and, and that it, it, it helped out the community yeah. as well. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And th yeah. thanks for joining yeah. us. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. It's always good to see you as always. I was swatting away a mosquito. Not this year. I don't know. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. I told the chocolate was on. Yeah, the chocolate. Your Sunrise on the road from the century. We'll be right back. Thanks. Thanks.